homestead today and we are getting ready to move the tractor. We, Richie has the snow blower all done. We're going to take it off the tractor and move it next to the shelter logic and clear out the garage because we have our delivery for the solar system scheduled and that will be coming next week and we need the space in the garage. Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy and that's Rich and we are living off grid in the Adirondacks of New York State while building a homestead from scratch on 135 acres so we can live a simpler life of freedom and sustainability. Rich and I have been sitting and planning out the ground mount for the solar system. And that ground mount is gonna go over there where the trailer is, so we're gonna to have to get that trailer moved pretty soon. It is spring runoff and we've never really been here this time of year, so we're actually getting to see a lot of what's happening. So we did dig this ditch in the fall and that's helping out a lot. But you can see this whole area up there is super, super muddy. So we're definitely going to have to do something about the drainage in that area. And over here, where we plan on putting the propane tanks, we have a serious amount of water here. And I think if we just dig a little bit of a ditch and make some better drainage, we will solve that problem. So quite a few things to do to get ready, but that solar system is scheduled to be delivered. We're planning out the ground mount. We have a parts list and we'll get some bids on that. We did get an update on the doors and windows that we ordered. You know that um, Anderson um, gave an update on the dates of when your door and window is coming and they've had more of a delay, so I just wanted to let you know that the windows are expected July 12th. Now that's still an estimate. I mean, I guess it could come a little early, it might not come that exact day, but that's the estimate for July 12th. And the door, the new date for the door is January 31st of 23. Ah! So I just want to let you know, because I know you're planning to build a house, so I wanted you to be able to figure that all in. Wow. So, <laughs> Rich and I just solved that problem. We just bought this door on Lowe's. You go through Rakuten, you save 2%. If you have a military discount, you can save another 10%. And we'll install that temporarily so that we can get through next winter. And then if and when that big sliding door that we custom ordered does come in, we don't have to install it in the middle of the winter when it's cold. So you could see here, we have some major drainage issues. We do have an artesian well right now again but that's not creating too big of a problem. The problem is actually from the runoff from up the mountain. So that is something that we're gonna have to take care of for the future. The other good news is our foam is ready. So we're in the process of scheduling the foam to come. So lots of things happening here on the homestead. Got the foam delivery about to be scheduled. We have the solar system delivery coming this week. We have a plan for the ground mount for the solar system. We'll be getting bids on that. The doors and windows that we ordered from Home Depot got pushed out, but we solved that door problem by buying a, an expensive, an inexpensive slider. Things are moving along. We should be moving here any day now. And it sounds like Rich is ready to get that snow blower off the front of the tractor. Here he comes. I bet it comes yeah, off a lot easier than it went on. <laughs> yeah, then they have the little chain thing to hold it up for you. 
Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm learning. I don't know what I'm doing All yet. right. There it goes. It's heavy. <laughs> That's it. Ooh, you're filthy. Yeah, this track is light. I can't. Holy Toledo. <laughs> no, the back. It's it's coming off the ground because of the backhoe. The loader. Need that loader. Yeah. Holy I'm scariness. Getting it back in. You know what? You know, that's a problem, Rich. All right, we'll figure it out. So All right. we're going to need your help picking this thing up. Okay, let me put the camera down. Yep. <laughs> His front tires are not even on the ground practically. It's so back heavy. doing that. Oh my god. Well, that was fun. Oh, oh my god, that was the scariest thing I ever saw. <laughs> Gonna have to, wow. Uh, have to remedy that somehow. I'm like, I just can't believe what I just watched. I can't believe you kept going. I had no choice. I figured, all right, the backhoe's dragging. I'll just sort of ride the wheelie. The you whole did. Way and and then when you went up over the curb, I was like, what's going to happen? I was just watching the door, man. I was watching too. Holy cow. So what just happened, Rich? Could not get two of the hoses on the fittings, the quick release fittings. Evidently there was pressure in the lines coming from the loader. I I guess I did not relieve the pressure enough by moving the joystick, although I know I did. I watched all the You YouTube mean videos before you took the loader before off? I took it off. So it wouldn't go back on. Two of the lines were pressurized and Kathy and I worked together. I sort of held the line with the uh, rag over it and we use a little socket extension like this to push that little button inside the line and you hit it with a hammer. Yep. And it just squirted the rest of the... And boom. <laughs> let some fluid out solved. and that was it. So, <laughs> problem solved. Teamwork. First time's always the hardest. You live and learn with this stuff. Now let's figure out if we can get it to latch on where it's supposed to latch on. This could take another hour. No. Please no. <laughs> gotta move forward first. That hole lines up with what? With that hole. Okay. Stop. I'd say you're lined up. That pin. This? Yeah, pull that up. Let's see if it'll go in that hole. Alright, I'm gonna wiggle the loader. Alright, wiggle. Richie, 
got it covered. Looks good. So that's the hub vertex and a box of bolts and hardware to put the steel frame together. And these three boxes have our metal plates that have to go into the foundation. They get cemented into the foundation. Yeah. And the excavator guy, Randy, asked us to count and make sure we're not missing anything. And that was actually pretty smart. Yep. Let's see what a plate looks like. This is a plate, anchor plate. Okay, and that gets cemented in. All right. Let's and then see. our steel frame gets bolted to it. Two, three. So it looks like there's probably five in a box. And if I remember right, I think I saw 15 on the plans. Five, okay. And how many tubes are in there? Well, let's see. <laughs> there's two, four. Six. I think one went underneath. Twenty-seven. Eighty-one. <laughs> Eighty-one little tubes we gotta put in. We're good to go. All right. We made room. We now have space to put the solar system. That's twenty panels, a generator, batteries. It's thirty-four boxes of stuff. Hopefully everything will be here, but uh, we're good now. And the forks are on the tractor so we can get everything off the truck. It's a box truck with a lift gate coming this week. <laughs>